Okay guys, like I promised you, I have to do a video about how to do a proper consultation with your clients, okay? Um, the client that I have coming today at 11, uh, I've only cut her hair one time, so remember you guys, always sell your clients what they need, but never stuff, don't try to sell them stuff that they don't need. So anyway, I'm going to go greet my client and bring her back, then we'll continue from there. Be right back. Okay, come on in, Peggy. So like I said, guys, Peggy's a new client, as you can see. She needs some highlights, right? So we've already talked about it, and but you know, she was only booked for a haircut, but today, you know, she needs highlights. I noticed that, so we're going to tone, uh, touch them up. I picked out something really cool from the Blondie line. And that is this. This is a great product. It's a, a, a cool rose, and it's a one tone deal. Now, let me show my, my guest here, Peggy, what we will be doing. See cool rows and you know, not really <laughs> oh, six at least. So that's what I picked out for you. That's okay. what I picked out for you today. You like that? I don't know. It looks a little bit. How about this one? This one's too dark? Yeah, that one really is too dark. I think this one will blend in nice. Do you? Yes, because, yeah, because absolutely, you're level six, it's going to blend in nice. You know, when I weave, weave your hair, it's, yes. not, it's not like, you know, coloring the whole thing. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's no, no lighter than these. Okay. You know what I mean? So okay. let's, let's touch you up with that. Just so it doesn't come out like really grassy stuff in it. Uh, you know, you did give me that website and I did go on to look at that. Which one? And, which which um, one's website is that? The, that gold told me about it. Oh. And I, I uh, went on the internet and looked it up and stuff. So it looks like a real interesting product. But I do oh, not. Oh, the oil you mean? No. No, it was a color. So oh. you had just started. You could do any color. I can, yeah. We can do we can do I have lots of choices. I mean if you want to come over here we can do I mean I don't we don't have to pick that one. I mean that's just okay. one I thought. But okay. let's go with what you wow. think. Wow. So I mean any one of these are gonna work because you're a level six and I can bring these up to any level I want. So okay. I mean so you, you want you want to be like in more what did what did you just right like a Beige blonde. Beige blonde I, right yeah, there. I really like that that tone, the tones for that. Extra light beige neutral. Okay. Would that be? Let's see what's going on. Hey, Craig. Uh, gonna be a little while, buddy. Okay. Uh, probably 1:30. Yeah, that's probably better. You know, I have to run the act over the desk for it. I'll swing back later. Okay, that's Sorry. fine. Yeah, yeah. So beige, let's see, I got more beige, more beige, more beige, let's see. Where am I at with the beige? It's gold. And then we have some blue colors, there's some beige right here. That's a little dark. Let's see, I think I have a 9-4. What do you think about this right here? 9-4, 8-4, these are all beige. How about this one? That's not dark at all. That's real light. This right here, nine four. Yeah. yeah, I think this will show up really nice. These are colors. This ain't this ain't it's a lighter, so oh they're colors. Yeah, this is color. Oh, so yeah. I want a lighter. I really do want it. You know, my problem is for years what happened was I had a real heavy frosting. Mm -hmm. And then I let it go just to give my hair a rest. Right. So I'm trying to get back to that kind of like overall blonde look. And there's my hair's so dark and I still don't have any gray. 
Right. No, so, you have great I, hair. I mean, you, yeah, you do. So I, I, I would really that. like to get more overall effect. Okay, so know, let's, stick with, being let's stick with the let's, it. let's go with this this product here. This is a great one. This is my identity, and this is awesome. It's a cream lightener that that brings you up. It's a, it's beautiful. I mean, every one I've done is just awesome with this product here with the with the my identity. That's got a nasty tone. It's, yeah. Yeah, and see, which is too dark. I, I really want to stay with the lighter, well, lighter then, tone. Then let's go, let's go with the My Identity one. Okay, I think be better all right. Out. Okay. So, no, so no. Now, now I'm hearing what you're saying. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, and then, you know, you we, with this product here, I can always use, I can I can tone it in any direction I want. I mean, we can, we can do just about anything that's possible. Okay, okay, okay well, so. let's, let's go with that. Hey guys. Okay, so we decided to use my identity, which you know is my favorite. So when you know, since our product is costing us a ton, uh, you know, we want to get it on our scale. She doesn't have that much hair, as you can see. So we're going to get on our scale and try and figure out how not to waste the product. So I'm thinking we're going to do about 30 grams or less. So let's do that. So we don't waste our product, right? So I'll put it on my scale here. Zero it out. I'm using a little bit of my identity. I love this product here. This is called Big Nine. Okay. This, is, this is just a... a, a it's a lifter. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, the, the color tone color. that comes out of this is just beautiful. Okay. I, I've had great results with this particular product. Have that much hair, guys. So I, I decided to put 20 grams in there. Okay, so we're going to use we're going to use a 30 volume because we're going to use Olaplex. So remember, when you're using the Olaplex product, the, the Olaplex lowers the level of the development. So we want to use a little bit higher of one to compensate. some of the colors I did online? Um, well, I just read about the product. M mo mostly that's what I did. I didn't. Did you have so it's been a while now, gosh. Did you happen to look at, at my website or anything like that? Um, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to get a towel and then get you wrapped up. I'm going to put on you. husband out there today, Peggy? Um, well, today's his birthday, so he's going to do some errands that he wants to do. And I'm back. Oh, you're back. Did you get it done? Sparkling clean. All right. Hi, how hey. are you? Hey, Karen. Hi. Hi Karen, Karen, how are you doing? Florida. Oh, awesome. Florida. In fact, you cut her oh. husband's hair. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you did. Yeah, it looks like you remind me of the uh, oh, jeez. The, the Italian guys. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. He said that. <laughs> he, he told us. The Gambino. Yeah. He goes, how do you know I'm not? <laughs> that sounds like him, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, really. How do you know I'm not? 50, right? So, Karen. Karen. Yeah. Karen. So we're, we're recording a little bit here for my students. Okay. 
just to yeah. let you know. Got that camera phone. For my for my hair students. my hair oh, best yeah, students. We don't say yeah. anything. I shouldn't. Yeah. No, you're all right. Say whatever you want. So. Yeah. Yeah. So we were talking about the color. These kids, these kids today, where they just they have a hard time. Get a, a video speaks volumes, you know. Yeah. yeah. Sure does. Try to explain stuff. Dibbles, not much because we only use 20 grams. <laughs> what is that product? This is a bond building ah. product that keeps your hair nice and from uh, when we use lighteners and, and stuff to lighten your hair. Yes. It, it breaks the bonds down in your, in your hair and you know makes it feel rough. And yes. This product, Olaplex, putting it in this lightener, while this lightener is breaking down the bonds of your hair, the Olaplex is rebuilding them, so it's like it never happened. But you still get the lightening properties Very of the nice. lightener without all the roughness that the product can cause without it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, that's Good. So I got a frosting one time that burnt my hair so bad. Yeah, well, here I only use top of the line products. Oh, I, mean, yeah. I think that's important. I mean, I, I don't buy cheap. I think it's important to use the very best that you can find. Shows in your work. Uh, I mean, it just, you know. Flex. Yeah. It does, and I just, you know, anymore, I just refuse to. I used to have, you know, uh, higher end products and then I would have the medium for people who made the can of I don't want to do the medium then deal anymore. Yeah. I'll be right back. Let me get okay. the stuff. Okay. So did it do you want your water by the way? Is it car. in the car? Yeah I went through the uh, car wash. Okay and uh, it's a good one. Well it gave me a good wash. But <laughs> then I came off the the stone dryer. Well, I think it's the only way to get in. Because yeah, the way it yeah. dropped me off, there was a, I thought that there was a driveway there, and there's not. So you have to come up off of the main yeah, the street to get in. Yeah, that's the way to go. Yeah. So, well, good. good. So it's nice and clean, and then uh, I didn't clean the inside. What's well, nice? Remember how I was telling you that when you have short hair, we don't ever want to put these foils down in here because you know you got short hair and it looks it looks spotty and just not you know. But this haircut today is going to turn out awesome because now it's growing a little bit. Yeah. You're going to be able to see where you're going. able to do the sides better. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. You can already see a little more. You know what I mean? Yeah. Setting, you know what I mean, instead of like the school deal, right? Or, or any of my beginners that you know are just getting out of school that you know what I mean, yeah. that have no experience. I just, right, you know, and, and, and just today, the hair, the hairdressers today, the ones with experience, they just don't want to share their knowledge, and it, it really bothers me that they don't do that. You know, the people with experience don't share, right? It's like, how are these kids supposed to? 
or anybody that's just new, you know, how are they supposed to get any better if, they, if no one's showing them, you know what I mean? You know? So that's how I know about that. Just a little video about it. Video speaks words, or volumes, you know? And actually show somebody, you know? Yeah, yeah, I want to. I, yeah, I I ordered some some more equipment just so I could teach, uh, and I'm going to set this all up. And it's going to be. I've got some camera stuff coming that's going to be really nice, right. high quality stuff. I've always wanted to get involved with the camera photography stuff. Anyway, you know what I mean. Right. Just something I've always enjoyed watching and checking out. You know, people taking good pictures and. And for me, I think that, you know, I, I haven't been able to find better better clients for me or guests to come and see me than, than uh, you know, by having good pictures on my website, right. Facebook, and all that jazz. So I, how, did you, how did you find me? On the internet. On Google, right? Yeah. My business. Google my business. Yeah. That's another thing, the young... Uh, Kids starting out, they don't know how to get find their clients, you know, and that's how you do it. You know, you might you might have to give a few away, but you, you do good work and take a nice photo of it and make the page like that, and people come find you. You know what I mean? Right. Free. Yeah. How about that? So you don't advertise. Then. No, I I use my, my Google My Business and Facebook. Okay. And, you know, I mean, I don't think that many new people anymore. I mean, I have a lot of people come to see me, but, you know, I have once in a while I like to see somebody new, you know. <clears throat> so how do you keep up your, uh, keep up with the latest hair styles or whatever? Do you study it yourself or do you? I watch a lot of YouTube videos of other hairdressers. Yeah. See what they're doing around the country, you know. You've right. got crazy amount of knowledge on it, you know. So yeah, that's how I find products, and I just, I, I mean, people are making YouTube videos about what they're doing, right? You know, what products they use. And it's amazing YouTube. I love yeah. it. Is that, yeah. It, it's been a great tool for me. Right. That's how I found out about Google My Business, you know, and all that stuff. How to make it work. That's a process in itself. Right. Uh, learning how to make AdWords work and all the, you know, the make, making Google one uh, recognize you. In other words, with the I can't think of the word. It's a oh geez, algorithms. Ah. And uh, all that stuff works. Was, was not an easy chore. I'll tell you what. That was quite hard. Bear, I spent a ton, a ton of time learning how to do that. I mean, just so do you have a lot of people email or um, make comments and ask yeah, you he's, different he's things? Fair amount. Yeah, comments. I mean, I mean, I try not to. I just I let people do what they do. You know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't see any negative. No, oh, there's one. I mean, Is there? There's always one. <laughs> there's got to be. <laughs> I think it's on my Facebook. I mean, I, when somebody comes in and, and they go from a darker color hair to an extreme light blonde, yeah. there's products and stuff that a person has to use to, to maintain that. And I guess this particular person might talk too much about the products and it bothered her. Like I was, I was forcing it on her or whatever. Uh, I just try to educate you what it does. And, Hey, you're gonna go light blonde. You need them. You have to have them. You know what I mean? I almost feel like not doing that service unless you do get them. You know what I mean? Because it's important. Taking somebody's hair and bleaching it all out through a flat and blonde. I mean, it's, it's the Olaplex product though that saves the day. But still, I mean, your hair is your hair takes a beating when you're doing all that. For sure. So this product that you put it to wrap in, so it binds, it, 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 uh, it rebuilds the bonds that your hair has lost. Okay. All right. 
from this product or uh, using heat with flat irons or right. any type of, you know, it's good for it's good for just about everybody that wants to have nice hair, you know what I mean? You can use it even if you don't color the hair. I can do an oval flex treatment. Put one, two, and then they have shampoo, uh, four and five. It's not a cheap product, but I'll tell you, it works great. And, uh, I mean, I, I will never do another color without it. One of the best investments I've ever made. In a, that product, I think it came out three years ago, and I'm just now finding out about it. Of course, people out in California and New York, they get stuff ahead of the game, you know. We're last to find out, you know, but now with YouTube and all that stuff, I changed the game, you know what I mean? Exactly. So, what part of Florida are you from? Or I living? Say the villages. What is it? The villages. So it's just north of Orlando. It's a big retirement community. Yeah, that's lots of fun. Not that we're old enough to be there. To be there. No, no we're, we're not. not. We're not. not. So. <laughs> so we have gray hair. Are you kidding me? I'm jealous. I'm 51 and i got to color my hair every five weeks. So yeah. completely gray. Nope. So Karen, years ago when, when uh, we went to Washington after high school to work for the Navy Department. We, I was in with two other girls, and we were friends with some other girls across the hall from us. Yeah. And she, this one girl, she colored her hair. She was a dark. She was a dark color. She bleached completely, bleached it out, and then she didn't like it, so she dyed it black. Really? So, anyway, her roommate was in a frantic. Oh, she was crazy. She says, You've got to come, you've got to come. So, she had done all this stuff and she set her hair. So, remember how we used to use the big rollers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, she was picking the rollers out and her hair was coming with it. That's what yeah. they would have had all the flex back then. Back then, yes, that wouldn't have happened. But I'll never forget that as long as I live. I've seen that happen before. So I don't know what they wanted us to do. They were all frantic about, you know, what they were going to do with this poor girl's hair. She didn't have any. She had to go to work. So she had to go get a wig. Yeah, I've seen that happen before, boy. Have you? Yeah. I have. It, it looked like she had some chemotherapy. Put it this oh way. So ever since I've seen that happen, I, I've always been afraid of applause. It's the hardest one to do. It is. Uh, I mean, I've been doing this for 34 years. I've probably done a million blondes, but it's still the hardest one. Yeah. You know, one that takes the most time and delicate. Yeah, so you don't get it that orange. Uh, right, the orange. Yes, the, I, I used to use, remember Rob, the Rue Ritz? Remember that I years do, ago? Yes. It was yep. that purple stuff that would stain everything. Yeah, yeah now they have direct dyes from that. And pastels. But uh yeah, I do remember that room. It's like a rinse or something. Yeah, it was a it was purple. I can't remember the name of the color. I used it for years, but it was so it wouldn't get brassy mm -hmm. because they would lift your hair years ago, but they didn't lift it hard enough, right, high right. enough, and and then it would be that rusty color that was awesome, orange. Yeah, now they make products that are just awesome. Yeah, changed a lot. Absolutely love this one here, this lighter I'm using on you.
So did your husband like his haircut? Oh, he did. Very much. So did I. Yeah. It was a great she, cut. She cuts his hair in between. I do, but it, it gets to the point where it needs to, to be cut professionally. And then, and then I, I can trim it a minute. Then it's time to go back, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But he has such thick hair. That yeah. He, oh, my gosh. I think that one. He's lucky, too, at his age that he has such thick hair. That's got to be in the jeans, huh? I thought the was even cut. Oh, yeah. did you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we kind of think so. 
my father says that's going to happen. I tend to believe what my dad has always said. Because he's never wrong. And a lot of people like to think they know. You want that to happen, right? Well, we are go across the lake to Canada. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, we're in a boat. We're going to get a houseboat. Live in the lake. That's right. For the presidents, I didn't care for, but I still respected them. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's realize you just got to respect the office and there is nothing you can do about it. It is what it is. Well, yeah. yeah, so we'll get a house so we'll kind of live on the lake for a while. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you need your hair done, call me. I'll come and be your uh, uh, okay. hairdresser on the boat. That's right. <laughs> Not ready to be squaring off with people. Not for me. Thought when I lived there, I mean, that's where I went to air school back in the 80s. So, 
But I always thought it was like a great rat race down there, a race from red light to red light. And man, that place drove me. Now. That place drove me to the madhouse. Where <laughs> was it? Yeah. Where you my hair wet area? I, I tried out everywhere in Florida. The most mellow spot I lived in Florida was Key Avenue. But it's, it was still a race from red light to red light. Everywhere you went in that area down there. Oh, man. So yeah. Where did you go to school? Where? Uh, I went to school in Buffalo Town. Oh, yeah. Clayton Beach Boulevard. Right Beach Boulevard. Yeah, I right. know it. Yeah. It was, uh, school was on Point a Military Trail and Congress. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Wow. Huh. You know, was it? It was Point Beach Boulevard. I can't remember. Point Beach, I know that. <laughs> I was the only white person in my school. Oh my God. I was the only white guy, the only white person in that whole surrounding. Oh. I went with all the, the black ladies. But you know, to this day, I mean, I appreciate and I, I made friends with one lady I've been friends with for 30 years, 35 years. Oh. And then when I get a little school, I get a, uh, a black guy who wants a fade. I say, hey, I went to school all my, I was the only white guy in my class. <laughs> black ladies love me. I was just a kid back then, you know, yeah. down in that crazy Florida. <laughs> really? You guys know Lee Nyanen? Yeah, I do. Oh my God, Lee saved my life down here. He did. Yes, he did. Sure, I know him. He is like a stepdad to me. Love him. He saved my life down in there. Lee, I wouldn't have made it through all this beauty school and all that jazz. Is that right? Yeah, let me live with them for nothing, you know what I mean? Ah. Uh, so you didn't have to be that expensive. Well, they were car salesmen, see, and I was like the house boy, so. Okay. You know, worked out for me. Yeah. Rich Gleason lived there, too. You know Rich? Yeah, I know Rich. Rich, Rich yeah. How do you know all these people? From being here, you know, they're from here. Oh, okay. So Rich, Rich has been mad at me for 35 years because I, I took a pair of his socks. Uh -oh, what? He still talks about it. Oh, does he really? My socks was real kid. Jeez, you still talking about them damn two socks? Jeez, oh man, really? Rich Gleason. I like Rich. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Yeah. A condo was right next door to his house. Oh yeah? Uh-huh. On the lake. Oh, you guys live down there right across from uh, uh, Park Avenue? And yeah. The, the, my salon was down there for years. I know. I I know. There's, I told you there's still years. furniture in there. Years. I was in that spot until the roof caved in. Oh. Oh, I, I loved it there, man. That was my favorite spot. It's a great location. Oh, it just was. If I had all this Facebook and all that jazz, I could have. You know, well, I mean, things happen for a reason. I thought there was two that, but you know, I just love that spot with Lawson to wake up. You know, my apart I made my apartment in the garage area in there. I mean, I, it was like a dirty garage, and we just built some walls and made like a big giant room to live in. Uh huh. Yeah, so I lived there for 16 years. Wow. And, and had my hair salon. Too bad you're not still down there. They're getting ready to start developing down there, finally. Like, what do you mean? Well, they're going to build that hotel down there, you know, and they're going to put that water park down there. And um, the Port Authority's been buying up a lot of land down there, and they're supposed to put shops and restaurants down there. And, you know, Sparky's is down there now, that restaurant. And mm -hmm. he's really doing a great business. And uh, Michael Morgan. Great Wall Barbecue is yep, down there. Yep. And they, they are expanding. They're doing a big patio setting now. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think think about it now. And this house that I put my salon in, 
It's been the best dang god thing I ever did. I mean, it's just comfortable in here. Yeah. I love it. The location is awesome. Uh, I'm comfortable here. Like, it's just, it's a comfortable setting for me. Good. It's cheap. It's cheap. Uh, it's $200 a week for me to stay, to stay open here. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, so it's pretty cheap, and I love it. But you have to pay the electric. Sure. No, it's all no? included. Wow. Daniel Van Spike is my my guy. So okay. We worked out a deal where you know we didn't want to we didn't want to change all that stuff, so kept it the same. Right. I try to tell everybody else out there in my video land that you know find your, instead of booth renting, find yourself a cheap house, put your salon in it. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in a good location. Right. You know, and when you go in to look at the house, don't look at the mess it's in. Look at the possibilities. When I came in this place, it was full of garbage. The rubbish and the floors were off. It. Oh, yes. So we spent about a good month or two fixing things up. And next week I'll be closed uh, for two days on Tuesday and Wednesday because. I'm getting some plumbing upgrades. Uh, I'm, getting, I'm getting my new wash sink. Uh, the more comfortable thing I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. And uh, I some plumbing upgrades. Um, I'll tell you a story. I don't know if I told you that this, uh, there's a couple pair of salons in town that they merged themselves. Blades yes. and main design or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they, they merged themselves. Okay, that's cool. Cool, that's congratulations. Uh, and they went down there and they put all this money into that place. Oh, I mean, like I said, they just put a ridiculous amount of money into it. So, meanwhile, I put my place together for hardly nothing. I mean, to tell you, hardly anything. And, you know, and I'm book solid all the time, you know. So, down the road, they're, I guess, you know, they're putting their place together, trying to get open, and so I didn't pull a plumbing permit here. I just moved in, fixed it up myself, hooked up my sink, called the state board, and had an inspection. They passed it. I'm thinking I'm good, right? So these people down the street uh, turned me in about it. Like, I, I mean, I'm glad they did. It was just it turned a, a negative. First, I was mad. Like, oh, I spent all this money. First I was mad, but then I'm thinking, I'm not going to be mad. I'm just going to upgrade to the better stuff. I'm going to be mad. This is a blessing. I mean, now I, you know, I have to do it. Right. So now I have a good sink. It'll be comfortable. I've never had a good wash sink for my my guests to sit in and be comfortable at. You know what I mean? It's always been, you know, stretch in here. Come on, stretch. You know what I mean? I don't hate that anymore. It's just not built for short people. You can relate to that. Yeah, here, I, I'm the one who built it, so I'm not the greatest carpenter in the world, but, you know, I tried. This time, when they put the sink in, it's from the professional, they'll do a verdict. Ah, he's yeah. putting it in for you. Okay. Yeah, hopefully. Then we'll take them one day, and we'll have to close in a few days. I think for that few days, though, they'll be putting in my plumbing and fixing that up and hopefully my camera here and stuff. I'm going to set this room up a little different. And then finally build that in right there. Let's get that built in so I get my saw horses out from underneath that thing. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to stay there that long. I, I put it together and got the license for the place to open and I've I just been busy ever since, you know? Mm -hmm. My clients missed me. A couple guys I've been working on for years, like, you know, when I, I, I stopped working for a couple years to take care of some medical issues I had. And so, you know, my guy customers they have real short hair, they always kind of like short, like, real short haircuts, you know. So I get back in business and these guys, a couple guys from walking in, they got hair like I got, like, along like this. You guys are gonna find another barber? <laughs> They're like, look at where you been. Where, look at my hair. Well, you guys gonna find another barber? Please. Well, you know, it's 
I can identify with that because I came up to Virginia to get my hair cut. From I Virginia? Couldn't... From Florida to Virginia. Oh, really? Yeah. You travel. See, that I is have, just right. I have a favorite hairdresser there, and I love the way she, uh, she does my hair, so I made an appointment. Awesome. Yeah. I love to hear that. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I never tried to promote anybody else's client for any of that jazz. And the, 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 the new salon down the street, they don't tell their new guests where to go, so they show up here, right? Okay. Right. Well, I don't do that. I send them where they're supposed to go. No. But still, I mean, they're walking in my place first, and always I'm busy with somebody, so it looks like, you know, I mean, that's happened a half a dozen times, so I finally wrote them a message on Facebook. I said, hey. If you guys want, I will fix your Google page and your, your Facebook page so that your guests know where to find you. They're showing up here. That's not good. I wouldn't. I'd feel stupid if my customers were going to some other salon, you know what I mean? I used to talk to Amanda and company. Yeah, she closed down. What yeah, happened to her? I don't know. I don't know. Um, and I used uh, Leah. Uh, for years. Leah English? Yes. When, uh, her husband owned the taxi shop. Yeah, I know who they are. I know yeah. Leah. So. Folks got along with Leah? Yeah. So she is retired. Leah retired? Yep. Leah retired. Son of a gun. Yep. Year before last. Huh. And so I started using Amanda. And then when I came back this year, the shop was fine. Yeah, you go. Well, I don't know what happened. Here you sit today, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, geez, wow. Yeah, they had a nice thing going there. I, I, I was like their shop was pretty and, you know what I mean? It looked professional. And, oh, I did, yeah. It's a nice shop. I thought my salon in the harbor was pretty awesome, too. I love that. It was just awesome. I like waking up there and having coffee in the morning and just kind of chilling before I have yeah, yeah. right there at the way. The only downfall of the whole gig was them guys across the street, man. They were rough on me, man. The fish they, place? Oh, they were just brutal. Well, you know, like, I'm, I'm a man hairstylist, so you know that obviously you're going to pick on me. I just defend myself a lot. <laughs> wow. It's quite nuts. It took me a long time to win them guys over. Half, half, I would say six years ago, you know, when Jack over comes down there when he started to talk. Did he do his hair or something? And he's like, this is a Oh, man, Jack didn't start coming to see me till the end. He just didn't like me. I don't know why. Come here, uh, he's me. Yeah, they were a tough crowd down there, boy. <laughs> nosy, too. Jeez. They were just nosy. Kind of. You know, why that ain't happening, you know what I mean? That was kind of hard. Yeah. They would make up stuff, you know? If they'd seen me in there working at 3 in the morning, they would just make up a story. And it would never be a good story, you know what I mean? And it's not unusual for me to work 10, 11, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning on somebody. I mean, people work second shift, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've always been the... I've always been uh, pretty flexible with my schedules, you know, like I'll pick people on uh, my, my uh, hours say uh, 9 is 5 or 6 or whatever. Yeah, I, I stay on, I haven't closed at 6 yet. You know what I'm saying? So, I just try to be flexible when people need it, there it is, you know. So Virginia, wow. What 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 kind of salon that is the girl you go to? What what, what type of place is it? Like is there are several operators in it or something? Yeah, place? well it's yeah, there are. She and her husband own it and I like her uh, married. Is the husband a hairdresser too? Yeah, husband's a hairdresser. That's what I need to find me a good woman that that's the setup I want. Oh my god. Yeah, that's awesome. I always love to hear about, about other people's uh, places and stuff like that, you know, see what everybody else is doing. 
can start this new thing here I've been working on that uh, I want to try to pick the 10 best hairstylists in our county. You know what I mean? Yeah. And try to make like some kind of page for people to make comments or say nice things or whatever. That would be good. That would be really awesome. I think so. Start interviewing them. Our area, the only thing I mean about Ohio, is we're the last to get the ideas, you know? Like they do that stuff out in California, and they do it in New York, and... They have the, all, all the high fashion and things, yeah, and they, they, hair design. They support each other, not competition. They don't look at it like that. I don't ever, you can't do everybody, right? Mm -hmm. Well, this is a small town environment, Rob. Very still different. can't do everybody. In New York City. You still can't. You still can't do everybody. <laughs> Not for everybody, I think. Always have been. Matt, if you sit forward towards me a little bit, okay. so I can use the front. Trying to think from this angle what kind of a Disney character he might look like. Uh, I can just see the hair. It looks like tin hair. She's going to get some good radio reception. Yeah. Well, you know, I think there's a storm brewing. Probably because the heat is in some pretty dark clouds there. Oh, really? Yeah. Because this heat is driving me crazy. So you must, so you busy in the winter time as well, like a Christmas? Well, yeah. Yeah. I'm busy this winter, yeah. Well, there's a lot of I don't mind the winters. You can wear nicer clothes in the winter. Summertime, you can't, you can't really wear dress clothes because it's too hot. I'd be uncomfortable with my dress clothes right now. It's too hot in here for me. We want to make this area blend better than your haircut up here in the front. Okay.